Very well, welcome back to Let's Play, back to the future of the game. Last time, well, we, we managed to escape the courthouse, and now we're hiding in the cycle beans here. Uh, what do we do now? What do we do now? Now we wait for the guards to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. Okay. Hey, it's my mom. Hey, what hey. the hell? Don't talk to her. She could give us away. Yeah, right. Maybe, maybe she's right. She's under Constitution Plus already. Where is the Delorean anyway? What was Edna doing to you? What the heck was Edna doing to you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. Shouldn't we go help? Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. I guess. Okay. Where's the DeLorean anyway? Why'd you marry? Why'd you marry Edna anyway? No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's she's kind of crazy. Yes, now, but back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. At least that's how it seemed to me at the time. Sure, she didn't seem she didn't seem that crazy at the time. What the hell? All right, Dad. Okay, where is, where is the DeLorean anyway? Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck towed to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why? Is that significant? Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so yeah. Fascinating. Uh oh, that doesn't Mom, look good. Dad, no! They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, None of this will ever happen. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I guess you're right. Looks like the coast is clear. Great. Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair of it could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry. If things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. Good luck, Your Honor. Great, oh, so I... You might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Stay off the street? Citizen Brown? Emmett? Great, so what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Wait! He's not coming back, you know. What are you talking about? Emmett? Without me to guide him? He's almost useless. Shut the fuck up! Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built! You built a huge piece of shit, ma'am. You inspire me to do bad things? He's capable of doing great things without you? Doc's real wise much cooler than you are? Not the only inspiration in Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Uh, you inspired him to do bad things. Yeah, you've inspired him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. He's capable of doing great things without you. You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well he did that too. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. Yeah, there we go. It worked! Ha <laughs> ha! One second I'm in the present. The next, I'm six months in the past! Amazing! Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ah! Emmett! 
Don't do this. You need help. Oh, blow it out of your exhaust port, dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... <gasps> Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe? That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well. I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Fine, leave! You're yeah, sure? We're leaving. You won't be able to since you will be long gone when this will finish that. Yeah, you do. Sure, this town will never be existed once we're done in the past. Let's see what we can do now. We gotta still be careful to not run into ourselves, though. Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. This is where I last saw him. You. Teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Oh, luckily, my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there, I mean, um, our relationship never moves beyond the hand-holding stage. Well, will you look at that? The old town theater. Uh-huh. Cool. What about it? Cool. Very cool. I haven't thought about this place in years. The missus made me tear it down back in 71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. Say, remember Public Enemy? Why, you dirty rat, no good yellow belly stool? Never did manage to see Frankenstein, though. No, uh, but you're going now? That's why we're here. That's the problem. That's why we're here. That's what we're here <clears> for. <throat> We've got to get young you to see Frankenstein. Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspiring with a notion that would launch my scientific career. You've still got no memory of what that notion was? Well, how could I? It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. An Emmett Brown now erased by the shifting sands of time. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain, having lived in it for the past 70 plus years. Once we get my younger self re-inspired by that movie, nothing will distract him from his proper... <gasps> Great Scott, will you look at that? The town square? It's just like I remember it, only dirtier. Oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc, you need to go inside huh? and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc. Never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? Right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll let you know when you're gone. And don't forget your Carl Sagan. The billions and billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. Okay. What we have to do? Convince Emmett to go see Frank is that you mean the the young Emmett, right? I saw him nearby, near the garb near the there he is. See? Let's go talk to him. Hi there, Emmett. Sonny! You do show up at the oddest moments. Where have you been hiding? <laughs> in 1986, in the dystopia you created, in a mountain recognition facility? Well, each of those doesn't seem that... 
true. Well, let's see. <laughs> the melter in the condition facility, 1986. Oh, you know, here and there, you're a little hard to pin down yourself. I went looking for you last night, but... I believe I was off entertaining a beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never really got a chance to thank you. Well, I'm sure you would have escaped Kid on your own. Kid? Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. <laughs> Imagine! Uh, trust that first impression? Girls aren't everything. Yeah, well, girls are great and all, but don't get carried away. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. Finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, pshaw. I'm far too busy for movies these days. But, uh... And as for my project, it's practically done. The rocket car? The rocket car? Boy, are you out of date. I've junked the rocket car. But... More trouble than it's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, its social utility is practically non-existent. Uh, don't give up on the rocket car. You just need an epiphany is all social utility. Social utility? Since when do you care about... The mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? It was Edna's idea, and she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Damn it, I'm a little confused here. Uh, you've only had one date. What day is it? Why, it's opening day. The opening day of the expo. Which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay. Catch you around, Crockett. October 12th. Doc? Uh, we didn't set the time to the right time, did we? Hang on, let me see that. Send them on back, Jace. J I want to read that. I can't see that. Good time, Mayor. Yeah. Dark, dark, dark. Where the hell did you? Why the hell did you set this time? The time to the time circuit to this day? Wasn't it, that wasn't the day we were? Uh, we were wanted. We oh, wanted to it, right? It is a bit brisk for August. Oh, we're two months late. The expo's about to start, and Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. Whatever, let's go back in time. did have a tendency to plunge into things. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right, right date. No, it's far too risky. Remember how I was late picking you up in 86? Yeah. That should have been a tip off. Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits, and the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in a Cenozoic age. Oh, or worse, the Mesozoic. Then we're stuck? For the time being. I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other problem. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you out of- Impossible. If young me is already as infatuated as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Believe me, I remember. Better to focus on the more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna, where can I find her? Where do you think? I'll drive. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. The expo, huh? Fine. Let's go there and see. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what I, what, what I supposed to do. I'm supposed to I'm supposed to convince Edna to dump Emmett. That's gonna be hard. Oh, the high school. We haven't been here in this game yet. You were right. Of course, she is. My soon-to-be ex-future wife is nothing if not predictable. Do I really have to talk to her? I mean, couldn't I just hang out until you fix the time circuits and... Oh. I'll talk to her. You better get the DeLorean out of sight before someone... Hey, you! Quit blocking the drive! All Car of the Future contestants need to report to the North Tent! Why not? Good luck! Cool, okay. Let's see. We need Edna to break up with Emmett, exactly. We need to convince her to dump him. Alright, let's go. Let's see what she has to say now. There's Arthur McFly here, is Edna? There's a truck. And this is a guy. Guy. Hang on. See this guy here. How about him? Excuse me. Yeah? 
when does the expo Not open? Not till tonight. Anybody without official business here, please get off the grounds! You got official business here? Yeah. Well, stay out of the way of the workers. You look familiar. Do I know you? Uh, nope. Right, fine, don't need to be so angry there. See, I don't know what she has to say. Spell it! B-R-O-W-N. It's not exactly an obscure name. I still don't see it on the list. I'm sorry. Oh, for the love... Let me try this one more time. This is the Hill Valley Science Expo, right? First annual... Indeed. The purpose of our fair is to showcase cutting-edge technology. That's right. And to burnish Hill Valley's reputation as a forward-thinking community. And yet, you want to exclude the maker of the most revolutionary breakthrough of all. It's not that I want to, but... Oh, dear. Mr. Crockett! You do pop up at the oddest times. What are you doing here? Uh, breaking you, breaking up you and Emmett, preventing a terrible future, thwarting your crazy schemes. Uh, each of those sucks. I need to... Whatever it is, I hope you don't have to deal with Mr. Stonewall here. His sole function seems to be preventing people from accomplishing their business. Honestly, with him keeping the books, it's a wonder the Tannen gang got as far as they did. Uh... Have you seen Emmett? Uh, no. Uh, no. Then you've heard all about his big breakthrough, the mental alignment meter. Isn't it exciting? And to think, he didn't even realize the import of his discovery until I pointed it out to him. I've never known anyone like him, so oblivious to his own potential. I kind of wanted to talk to you about Emmett and his potential. Funny, I didn't spot it myself at first. In fact, for the longest time, I thought I didn't even like him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, potential is another thing. What attracts you to him? First impression or telling? Potential isn't everything. You know, a lot of guys start out with great potential and then sort of run out of steam. That's what I'm here for, to make sure he goes the whole distance. Yeah, but... I appreciate your concerns, Mr. Crockett, but I can take care of myself. I know what I'm looking for in a man, and it so happens Emmett fits the bill to a T. That's Emmett Brown. Rhymes with clown, which I'm beginning to think you are. Just a simple mix-up, I'm sure. I've no doubt of that. Cool, what about Artie McFly? Hey, Artie! Officer! Officer? Oh, right. Don't blow your cover. Will you please keep your mind on the task at hand? Can't talk right now. I'm right, fine. What can I do here, then? Let's see. There was more There was more to do, by the way. Um, what's a truck here? Where the hell is it? There it is. Truck. What the hell is this? It's this not truck? as nice as my truck back in 86. Jeez. I hope I still have a truck back in 86. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Uh... Where am I? Okay, there I am. Street. The brown place is on Riverside Drive. Way too far to go on foot. I wonder how Doc's coming with the DeLorean. Oh, but probably not good. Ah, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's go over here. There's nothing this way. Great. Can I just go in? If we want to break Edna and Emmett up, we better approach it from Edna's side of the relationship. Yeah, right. Can I go in the front door or yeah. this guy's gonna block me? No? When is the expo Not open? Not tonight. Fine, fine, fine then. Still talking with Edna. Ahem. <clears throat> You said that Emmett fits your bill of requirements for a man. Yes. What would that list be exactly? You'd make a good reporter, Mr. Crockett, you know that? Well, his physical appearance for one thing. Emmett may not be Clark Gable, but he cleans up surprisingly well. I gave him my grandfather's white suit to wear at the expo. Oh, you should see him in it. He looks positively radiant. Looks good in a suit. Got it. And he's completely devoted to me. That's important. I've got no time or tolerance for playboys. Faithful as a Labrador. Check. Thirdly, and most important... Yes? Well, his mind, of course. It's brilliant, and it's virtuous through and through. His own mind map shows him to be a model citizen. Good brain, I see. 
And if it turned out that you were mistaken about any of these qualities... Say, what's your game? Uh, just curious, just trying to understand the female mind. Well, understand this. I'm not some faint-hearted girl who'd run away at the first hint of trouble. I've made a big investment in Emmett. Not money, but I've sunk all my ambitions into him. I'd have to be thoroughly disillusioned before I'd call it quits with Emmett. Got it? Uh-huh. Now, Mr. Cub Reporter, is there anything else? Hmm. Emmett's a tick magnet? You don't know Emmett like I do? Is good Emmett settling down? What's a mental or magnet meter? How about this one? You say you know Emmett is a model citizen, but you don't know him as well as I do. Did you know he once cheated some Libyans out of plutonium? Plutonium? What would Libyans want with plutonium? I'm sure he had a very good reason. Emmett's mind map demonstrates conclusively his brain is oriented toward virtue. Hmm, he stole a train! This one time, to power one of his science experiments, Emmett hijacked a train. Please, there hasn't been a train hijacking in Hill Valley since the days of Mad Dog Tannen. Exactly, that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly that train, Zach. My bias principal hates him. Is good Emmett settling down? Emmett's a chick magnet? Rather hard for me to picture Emmett as a chick magnet. Chick magnet? A guy who gets the girl's, you know, motors running. Motors? Who makes them, y you know. You mean a chic? Yeah. Well, it's a matter of taste, I suppose, but when he's properly pomaded and decked out in my grandfather's white suit, Emmett just glows. Makes my heart flutter a bit just to picture him. Uh, my vice principal ate him. Emmett's done a lot of shady things in this time, but my vice principal warned me to stay away from him. Your vice principal sounds like a dolt. Uh, indeed. Uh, it's good Emmett settling down. What's the mental alignment meter? What the heck is this mental alignment meter of Emmett's? Oh, it's an absolutely revolutionary invention! Measures a person's affinities. What he's attracted to, what he's repulsed by, that sort of thing. Interesting. And it really works? Well, of course! What's the point of inventing something that doesn't work? Or, anyway, it works well enough for my purposes. Well, there is a point of inventing something that doesn't work, to make it work! Um, he's good Emma setting down. I don't so know. you say Emmett only has eyes for you? Absolutely. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. Well, it's good to hear he's finally settling down. Yes. <laughs> settling down? You know, ready to stop playing the field, as it were. Playing the... Oh, you're joking. Emmett's a heartbreaker. But I can't help feeling sorry for him. Who? All of Emmett's other girls, now that he's with you. Please, I think I know Emmett by now. There are no other girls. Uh, he has a little black book. Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen to Emmett's little black book. Little black book? Oh, it's legendary. That's what enabled Emmett to become the, uh, Valentino, Valentino. of Hill Valley High. Gee, I wonder if he'd let me have it. You must think I'm pretty gullible, Mr. Crockett. Mm. Well, fine. That's all the questions I got. Very well, then. Wait, hi there, Trixie. Hey, what are you Arnie. doing? You see my Orioli? You mean this? Yeah, thanks. She gets to come and go freely, and I'm forced to wait. I love it. Hmm. Can we set as I'm cheating on her? Can I talk to Doc a second? See how's he doing? Have you figured out what's wrong with the time circuits? Not sure. Possibly. It seems to me to be a simple wiring issue, but I'm double checking to make sure. All the basic equipment appears to be functional. Um, any chance I could borrow the DeLorean? I want to drop in on young you at the lab. Well, I don't know. The time circuits... Listen, I promise I won't take it to 88. Even so, I'm worried about letting it out of my sight while it's still behaving unpredictably. Tell you what. I'll take it on a test drive, one minute into the past. If it passes the test, I'll let you borrow it. It worked! Didn't it? I'm afraid not. In fact, the discrepancy appears to be getting worse. I arrived six hours ago. Oh, too bad. I didn't want to risk undoing any of the work you've done thus far, so I kept out of sight. But the time lag wasn't entirely a waste. 
I stopped by the hardware store and bought the parts for a chronometric analyzer. A what? A diagnostic device. See, I plug it into the time circuits and set them to cycle. When the green light goes off, I should have the data I'll need to understand the scope of the problem. Hey, no driving the exhibits off the lot! Looks like you'll have to find another set of wheels if you want to get to the lab. Like the truck I showed there. That could be useful. Trixie's there though, let's, talk, let's go talk to him. Go to Ammon's lab. Yeah, but I want to talk to Trixie first. Hi hey there, Trixie. What's up? <clears throat> to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. Uh, to all who approach these hallowed halls, I bid thee welcome. To all who... Oh, hiya, kid. Say, aren't you the fellow who... Got you to turn on Kid Tannen? You bet. You look younger without your mustache. That was a dirty trick, you know, making me think Kid had gone and iced Artie. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could... Ah, uh, forget about it. I'm trying to. Yesterday's in the past. That's my motto. You gotta live for today. Right. So what are you doing down here anyway? Do you wish to pull the levers that control the future? I'm trying to, actually. Uh. At the expo, silly. Technology for a better tomorrow, and all that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's actually why I'm here. Uh, what are you doing today? Help me make Edna deal with Artie works here? I was a kid. Where's the story with this expo? A lot of options, actually. What you're doing? So, who are you supposed to be? Don't you know your Homer? I am Techni Muse of Progress. You can tell by the lightning bolts. Must have slept through that class. I'm supposed to be a goddess like. I'm the one who inspires all the great men who make the discoveries. And women, too. Leave us not forget Madame Curie. I never would. So you work for the expo? Yeah, ain't it a kick? I greet all the important guests. And on the final day, I get to bestow the golden sundial on the winning contestant. Fine, you got a nice gig here. Techni, Muse of Progress. Not a bad gig. Audie got it for me. It's my entree into respectability. She's cosplaying, basically. Help me make Adam Zealus. Artie works here. So, Artie's working for the expo, too, huh? Oh, Artie's doing swell. The papers made a big deal of him testifying against Kid. People have been beating down his door ever since the trial. The expo's darn lucky they could get him. Hmm, how's Kid? How's Kid's trial going? Slowly. You know what they say. The wheels of justice grind slowly, but infinitely fine. Except in Hill Valley, where they don't move at all. What? Nothing. It's just, you know, something I heard once. So no regrets about turning him in? None at all. I should have known better than to take up with him in the first place. But what can I say? I was dumb. I let myself get taken in by his charm. Charm? Um, what's the story with this expo? Whose idea was it to put a science and technology expo in Hill Valley? Beats me. Artie says it's all bread and circuses. But I ain't seen a single clown yet today. Okay, let's go straight to the point. I hope we make happen on Zealous. Listen, I've got a proposal for you. I have this friend, right? No dice. I'm only seeing Artie now. It's not like that. See, my friend's in a relationship with Edna Strickland. Oh, poor schmuck. I wouldn't wish her on anyone. Didn't you see where I'm coming from? He won't listen to reason, but I thought she might call it off if she thought he and you were, you know. Ah, you are an evil imp, ain't ya? Sometimes a guy's gotta resort to underhanded tricks. What do you say? Sorry. Ah, oh, come might on. might be a pill, but if I play dirty tricks on every dame who disapproves of me, well, well, I'd, I'd play a lot of dirty tricks. Besides, such stunts are beneath the dignity of Techni, Muse of Progress. Uh, come on, help me out with that, Dana. Look, my friend Emmett really needs help. The one who's going out with Edna Strickland? You're darn right he needs help. I'm not asking you to actually seduce him. Just make her think that you two have a thing going. It'll drive her crazy. <laughs> I guess it would. So? Uh-uh. I wouldn't do that to another girl unless I was good and mad at her. And besides, it might tarnish my image as a muse. Fine there, and I'm running out of time, so... From this chamber of wonders, we bid you a fond adieu. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Anyway, that's that for this time. Next time on Back to the Future, we'll try to do something else. Let's try to go to um, Doc's lab or something. See you guys then.